Now, as you can see, whenever we um, go from this to this, that doesn't look good because it's just the same thing. And then you go over there and it looks good. But right here, we're going to take, we're going to go to the text and we're going to actually, we're just going to go to, I'm going to select comp 4. Okay, make sure that's comp 4. Now go into comp 4 and work in it. Now, we're going to make sure every layer is on check for 3D. And we're going to take Mac 230, the first one, and we're going to slide this over right there. Okay? And you're going to make only these three. 3D layers, and you're going to move all of them out toward you, about like that. Now make all the rest of them 3D, Oops. except for your background layer, make all the rest 3D, and go over and select all of them. Now go up and get your rotational tool, go to this very center one but you want your Y axis and you're going to rotate it just a little bit so about like that uh, right there and you're going to go and get your text your first text and you're going to bring that out even more with your you're going to go to your selection tool and you're going to bring it out even more with the Z axis and bring it over with the X approximately right there. Now as you can see the 3D text is set up for the other direction so you need to come in and grab this one and just bring it over just a little bit so you can see it over here and do the same with the black text layer since it's not parented to the top since they the top layer is parented to them you can edit them all you want so now, what's really cool is when you go back into this, and you go fit, and you go to the very beginning, this is what it looks like. After it's done a rendering, I'll show you guys. Um, but now, I'll show you the finishing touch, finished version. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to effect, I mean, well, layer, new, adjustment layer. Now on this adjustment layer, you're going to come up here to effects, color correction, give it a tint, and then come up here again, layer, I mean, effects, color correction, and go to the curves right there. And... You're going to want to, let's say we want this to be blue, you want to turn uh, the tint down to about 60, 65, which is something I found that was really good for it. Um, now, bring the the, bright, the darkness, the this down a bit. You can play around with this, but it, 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 it takes a little bit. Uh, red, bring the red down. Um... Green, bring the green down. No, leave green a little bit up. Um, blue, make blue high. Bring it down. Okay. Um, go back to this and bring it down just a little bit more. Okay. So basically, you can play around with this. But now come up about right here, and right where that keyframe is, right here, and make a key, go close up the null object, make a keyframe for the effect, the curves effect, make a keyframe right there, and then right here, make, um, well, just like right whenever it gets there, right here, make a keyframe for it and we're gonna make this one just the regular old color. The just the regular blue color. 
So now it's going to look like the regular blue color I think it's supposed to. Oh yeah, and also put a um a uh and then also put a keyframe on a mat or tent back here. Okay, amount of tent, make the amount of tent zero, well, no, make the amount of tent there, 65, 65, and then come right here, just before it, and make the color, the tent, amount of tent zero, okay, and then, now it's going to look like this, right here. Whoops, I undo. undo. Make a keyframe on the tent. The amount of tent. Make a keyframe right here for and make it that. And then come about right here and make the tent keyframe zero. And then come to where your you make your next jump. Right here, make another keyframe for add keyframe for curves and add, also add a keyframe for amount of tint. And right here, you're going to want to leave it zero and then go forward just a little bit about right here where you're about where you're at your next uh, location. <sighs> Sorry, I'm not feeling super good today. Make your amount of tent 65 again, and make it 50. Cause we're gonna make it a maybe a, a orangey, yellowish color, green maybe. And it may also put a keyframe on, and then we'll just make the keyframe for uh, this. And then you just I'm just gonna bring the darkness up, less darkness, so it's up, and then go to uh, red. And we're going to bring red down, and we're going to go to green and bring the green way up, or, yeah, green way up, um, and go to your blue, oops, blue, and put your blue up, and, no, blue down. So there you kind of have your green. We want a little bit more blue in the green. A little bit less blue in the green. There. So that looks good. Now it's going to look... Uh, so now we're finished. We're all finished. Uh, so this is what... I, you, now you can either um, export it as a QuickTime movie or whatever kind of video file you want. Or... You can save it as a project. Um, it takes a long time to export. Looks pretty good. Um, thank you for watching. This has been another tutorial by Mac230. Thanks for watching and peace.